Hello everyone, welcome to my video on our interactive QT framework project using C++. So first you have to open your QT creator and then you have to create a new project. So click this plus or new button to create a new project. So I will click this button and then I will choose this QT widget application option. So then uh, this size of this window is a bit large so I will decrease it and then I will click this choose button and next I have to set a name for my project so here I will enter for message management system okay because our project belongs with for message management system okay so here I will give title for message and then I will click ok button oh, sorry next button and then uh, you can choose any option for your uh, system and here you can choose QMAX and QBS. So I will go along with this QMAX option. So I will select it and then I will click this next button. So this is some information about your class. Like class name is main window and base class is main window. Added file name is main window.h and source file is main window.cp. And this checkbox is clicked to so generate a form. Okay, and next. This is main window dot UI to create user. Okay, so uh, you can change uh, these names, but I will go along this by default values and then I will click this next button. Okay, now you can choose a language to translate your project, but I will choose this none and this is by default provided and then I will click this next button. Okay, now here you can see this is a you have to choose it because it contains a compiler that compiles your project. So I have selected this and then I will click next button and then finish button. Okay. Now the project is created successfully. Now I have to write C++ code. So first I have to create user interface element. So I will open this form file. Okay. Then I will choose this main window dot UI to create the interface element so here you can choose any uh, your required element so first i will set a title for my project so i will select this label okay and next i will increase the size including width and then i will change text value so here i will enter for messy manage okay and system and now I want to change styles for this title. Uh, so I want to increase font size and then I want to change background color and font color. So I will select label and then I will the right button from my mouse and then I will choose this change style dot. Now I have to use the name of it as a selector. Like here I have with name label. You Okay, now I have to use pair of curly braces as a body and next I have to choose background color background and then I will give value uh, here I will give value light okay you can uh, use different sorry here I have to use colon not equal size okay and next I have to change the font size so here I will use font size property, font size property and then I will give value 15x and then I have to use semicolon in the last of every step. And next I have to use, uh, sorry I have to change the font color. So here I have to use color property and then I will give value uh, white. Okay. You can uh, use different background color and font color. So I will click apply button next and then ok. Uh, but uh, I think I have a problem. Uh, no I have not problem but I should increase uh, font size ok. So I will choose it once again and then here I will give value 30 ok. And now I will click apply button once again and then ok button. Now this is for massive management system. I will increase the size of this window. Then I will increase the width. Okay. And now I have to change the position. 
I will select it here and now I will increase height. Okay, so this is uh, label for our project for message management system. And now I have to use a line edit widget, but first I have to use this label once again. Okay, so I have selected it, then I will drag it into this window. Okay, now I will change text value. So here I will give value enter Madison. Okay. Madison and then I will change styles. So uh, I will select it and then I will click right button and then I will go to change style sheet. Now I will use once again name of this label. Um, sorry, as a selector and name is label. Okay. Now I will go to next line, but you can do all this process in the same line. And next I have to font size. So here I have to use font size property. And then I will give value x, sorry, x, and then use semicolon. And in the last I have to change the, the font color. So here I have to use color property and then I will give color blue. Okay, and then use semicolon and then click apply button and OK button. Now you can see that font color and size of fonts is changed. Okay, now I have to use a line edit to get a value from a user. Okay, so here I have to use line edit. First, I will search it. So here this is line edit. Okay. And then I will drag it here and now I will increase the size. Okay. And next I have to get price. So here I will use uh, this table once again and then I will drag it and now I have to change value. Okay. So here I will change text value. Here I will uh, type enter price. Okay. And then I have to, uh, sorry, find here style. So here I will select it and then I will choose style sheet. And here I have to use a name of label or widget as a select. Okay, sorry, this is not label, not a label. This is in fact a widget. Okay, you line. Okay, and then use uh, curly braces for body and then. Uh, I have to change color. Okay, so here I will apply blue color and then I will change font size. Okay, font size and then I will give value in X. Okay, and then use semicolon and click apply button and then OK button. But I think I have a problem. I will choose it once again and then I will. Apply this, but sorry, this is not line edit widget, this is a label widget. Okay, so here I have to use label. Okay, then I will uh, click apply button and then okay button. Now uh, font style and color is changed. Okay, and uh, then I have to do the same process for this uh, line edit widget. So I will select this option once again, and now I have to use to line okay line edit and then body and now I will give value sorry I will choose font size property okay font size and then I will give value and then color okay color and then I will click apply button then okay okay now I will copy this and then I will paste it here. Okay. And next, I have to use uh, another uh, line edit and uh, this label. So I will copy this with style and then I will paste it uh, next line and then I will set it position. And now here I will uh, enter here 20. Okay. And then I will copy uh, this line edit with it and then I will paste it here. Okay. And next I will set its position 
so now i have three line digit digits first for uh, medicine name second for price and third for quantity okay so next i have to add some buttons so first uh, i have to use this push button okay first search it and then drag it into this uh, window and then i have to change style sheet first i have to change text value okay so here i will enter okay and then i will apply some styles so i will select it and then i will select this change style sheet option and then i will use q uh, sorry name of this button widget is push button okay and now it will be used as a selector and now i have to change text value so here i will use for size property and then i will give value 15px and then i will use here uh, color property for changing uh, our font color okay so here i will give value blue or you can use picture like red okay then use semicolon in the last and then click apply button and then okay button okay now i will copy and then i will paste it uh, into next uh, column okay and then i will change uh, this value okay now here i will enter uh, search okay if you have to search any medicine then you have to click the search button and then i will paste it once again and then i will change the text value uh, first i will change the position and now I will change text value and I will type here cancel okay now this is ok button this is search button and this is cancel button now we have three buttons three line edit widgets one uh, this is title and three tables for help of customer or shopkeeper and next I have to make function all these buttons okay so first I will click this ok button and then i will click right button and then i will choose this option go to bond okay and then i will select this click option and then i will click ok now you can see a function is added here the name of function is on push button click okay now i have to change the name of this function uh, if you want to change okay but i want to change so I will go to this uh, menu to dot add file okay and here you can see this is the name of our function and here I can change the name okay so this is uh, add button okay add function this is add function and then I will save it and I will go back to uh, this menu to dot cp now here uh, also I have to change the name so here the uh, name of function is add function okay now name of the function is add function okay now i have to connect it with our ok button so how can we do this uh, so uh, here after this uh, ui and uh, setup ui here i have to use connect method okay and then uh, here i have to use ui cause uh, I have to use uh, push button which is widget of UI okay that's why I have to use UI here so next I have to use the name of uh, button and here push button 1 okay and next I have to uh, fire a signal then I will use a comma then here I have to find that it will throw or fire a signal okay then it will be collect okay so here i have to call the collect method okay uh, i mean when this push button one in fact now this is okay button so when this push button one will be clicked then a signal will be fired and next i have to use a comma here and here i have to use this pointer and now this signal will be connected with a slot so this is slot and it will contain a function and the function is add 
function okay so i want to say that when this push button one or okay button will be clicked then this add function will be called okay and next here i have to use a semicolon in the last of this statement and now i have to go to inside uh, this add function okay so here first uh, uh, i have to uh, declare some global variable so i will declare them here. okay so first i have to uh, get value from uh, these line edit widgets so how can i get value so next i will declare some lists so first i have to include here uh, sorry i have to include here with sharp include okay so i have to include to string okay to string so i have to search this is to string list i will select it and now i have to define here some list to carry values from the line edit okay first this is to string okay now i have to declare a list so it will contain uh, names of medicine so here i will find medicine okay and this is a list okay and then i have to declare an other list uh, with type to string okay and then i have to uh, declare a list for price okay so prices okay and next i have to declare one more a list for total quantity so here i will declare to string list okay the total or total quant okay total quant and uh, these three uh, sorry these three uh, lists are declared here now i have to get value from uh, widgets and names of widgets are bang it widget and then i have to store all those values in this okay so here i will use uh, this add function and then uh, first i have to get value from our first line in widget so here i will declare a queue certain now i have to declare variable that will uh, carry or contain value from line edit widget so first i have to get medicine okay now the name of list is medicines and the name of variable is medicine okay and now i have to get value from uh, user interface element that is uh, line edit okay so because this is part of ui so here i have to define ui then arrow now i have to define the name of widget and the name of widget is line edit 1 okay now i have to define the type of this uh, widget uh, sorry uh, value and type is text okay and next i have to define here okay uh, now i have to declare an other variable so here i will define type so type is to string okay now i have to declare variable the uh, name price okay uh, i think i do not need for price so i have to get quantity okay so here i have declared with name quant now i have to get quantity from a uh, user interface element so here i have to use ui then arrow okay and then a uh, line edit 2 okay now this is line edit 2 now i have to define the text uh, sorry value and that is text okay so i will choose it and uh, now it is enough sorry i should declare uh, one more variable to string because we have to store prices also okay to string is type and price is the name of variable okay now we have to get value using same method okay to i and then name we have to get value from line edit 2 okay and then here i will this will uh, 
contain or carry uh, quantity okay and next here i have to use arrow and then i have to define uh, type okay type is text okay now i have declared two variables first will carry uh, medicine name second will carry price and third will carry quantity okay now i have to insert all these values in our this okay so first i have to insert uh, this medicine into medicines okay so here i will insert it uh, using medicines okay where is medicines dot append okay i have to use append method to insert value in our list now i have to define the name of variable that contains a uh, medicine okay so here i will select this medicine okay and this way we will able to add a name of medicine in our list okay now i have to add price okay so here i have to define the name of list that is prices now i have to use dot operator to access append function okay now i have to declare sorry define the name of variable that contains price okay name of variable is price and uh, in the last i have to uh, insert value into total quant so here i will use total quant then a dot operator to access append method and then i have to define the name of variable that contains total quant okay and then do semicolon in the last so in this way we have inserted all medicine name uh, prices of medicines and total quantity of medicine in this list. okay and this list are total three list. okay and next i have uh, to print a message that your medicine was inserted successfully okay and we can uh, show this message using queue message box and if we have to use queue message box then we have to include it before okay so include and then do message box and this is queue message box and i have included it so i can use it in our uh, project okay so this do message box sorry capital box and now i have to use uh, this scope operator and then i have to define the type of queue message box and this is information so i have to use this pointer okay and then i have to set a title so i will set title success okay so this is success message box and then i have to uh, set here a string that will carry any information for a shopkeeper okay so here i will uh, type added successfully or addition sorry addition added successfully okay successfully and then i will use semicolon in the last of okay so this message will be uh, printed when okay button will be clicked. okay so our add function is completed now so we have to make functional our second function that is sorry second button that is search button okay so i will select it and then i will choose this option go to slot and then i will choose this option click and then i will click okay button now i have to change the name of the function so here i can change so this is our search function okay so here i will find search function and then i will save it now i will go back to my file main window dot cpp now here i have to change the name to and this is search function okay so this is search function now i have to repeat our previous process to connect signal with slot okay so here i have to use connect method and then i have to use ui and then 
widget and this widget is push button 2 okay and uh, now we have changed the name of this push button 2 uh, with uh, our search button okay and here i have to use comma then i have to fire a signal when this will be clear okay and then here i have to use comma and then this pointer and now i have to connect it with a slot that contains a function and the name function is search function okay and then i have to use semicolon the last in this way i have uh, made functional it so next i have to write c++ code okay so here uh, i want to search a specific item okay so here first i have to get value from our user so here i have to declare a variable with type to string okay and the variable name should user medicine okay so here i will use user m and then i have to get value from first line it is widget okay so here i have to use u i then arrow and then uh, i have to get value from line edit one okay and then i have to define the type so type text then i have to use semicolon in the class and next i have to define sorry declare an other variable with type to string and it should user price sorry went okay so here i will use user underscore q and i have to get it by using line edit 3 okay so this is line edit 3 and then i have to use this arrow and then i have to find the type of value that is text okay now we have to calculate a bill according to our medicine name and uh, our quantity okay now i have to set condition to check that uh, is this medicine availed or not okay so here i have to use if condition and then i have uh, to find the name entered by user that user underscore m is equal equal okay i mean it should match our saved medicine okay equal equal and then i have to use a list that can get medicine names okay so first sorry here i should use uh, here for loop okay first i have to use for loop okay and then here i have to define the body so here i have to declare a local variable for this uh, for loop with type okay i and i will assign it zero and then uh, i have to set a determinative condition that uh, if i is less than okay uh, length of this that contains medicine so medicines dot length okay and next i have to increase uh, value of i step by step okay i plus plus okay so uh, i have initialized i with zero that means that its initial position is zero okay and then uh, it will uh, sorry this for loop will be executed according to total length of this okay and then this is i plus plus that will um, in value of i okay so next I have to get the condition by using the condition that user entered medicine is equal equal medicines okay and this is name of list and here I have to set i okay so in first iteration uh, it will try to find in first index because in first iteration value of i is zero so first index is also zero in first iteration it, uh, this project or program will try to search uh, our required medicine in first index. okay uh, if it found successfully then it will print a message uh, for uh, 
of update otherwise it will execute uh, for next time okay and this process will continue uh, until uh, total length of uh, this addition okay so here i have to define body and then inside the body and now as you know that all values uh, gotten from this line edit widgets are uh, to string type okay now we have to convert it into this okay so first i have to declare a variable with type okay and then i have to declare a variable uh, that will contains converted value uh, from user to okay so next now the name of variable is uh, user sorry twent okay and i have to convert it to integer so i will uh, declare it with twent int okay and now i have to convert it into integer i mean uh, previous variable okay so here i will use the name and the name was user two okay user score two i mean user entered twenty and now i have to convert it into integer so here i have to call the method that is two okay so in this way the value of this user two will be converted into integer and then we will assign the value to this uh, quant value okay so next we have to convert uh, uh, values in this uh, price and quant to uh, integer okay so here i have to declare also uh, two more variables with type okay so here first name is prices okay so here we will define prices and score in and now i have to convert it into integer okay sorry uh, yes into integer so here i will define that uh, sorry name of uh, list with index okay total quant and then index number and here i have to apply to function okay so in this way value uh, in this list in the in this index okay will be converted to integer and then it will be assigned to this price and next i have to convert Uh, this uh, variable uh, sorry list value into integer total quant okay and this is the quant and now total sorry total uh, yes quant underscore okay so this is a new declared variable now i have to convert Uh, this total quant okay and then index i and then i have to convert it into integer so two int function will be applied here and i have a mistake here i have to convert price okay so here i have to define prices okay the name of list was prices and this is total quant okay and this is variable that Uh, value from digit line digit digit three okay and now all uh, uh, type values are converted into integers okay now I have to apply some function like I have to uh, multiply price twenty okay print a bit and then I have to update uh, this total quant uh, variable and then Uh, sorry list total quant will be updated so first i have to declare a variable with type int okay int will and then i have to multiply uh, this quantity okay quant int it will be multiplied with price okay prices in prices in okay so in this way uh, we will able to calculate a bill i mean total quantity if a customer wants to purchase three uh, medicines or tablets then it will be multiplied with price of uh, that selected 
medicine okay and then in this way we will able to print bill and next we have to convert uh, this total uh, quant into uh, string once again okay so here i have to convert it into a string type so here i will define total uh, not sorry total quant this is total quant and then x i okay now i have to convert it into string so here i will find to string and then uh, scope operator okay and then i have to define previous type that is number and now i have to define a variable name that will be converted into string and that is total quant int okay and then use semicolon in the last sorry first i have to update it so how can we update it we will update it uh, with this way total quant int variable okay and then i have to decrease user entered quant so here i will define total quant int and then i have to use this minus sign and then i will use user entered value or quantity okay so here this is quant quant int okay now i want to explain all this process once again here uh, we have converted user entered quantity uh, which he wants to purchase uh, okay and then uh, we have converted value in our price list according to their index and then we have assigned uh, this into this new declared variable okay and then we have declared an other uh, variable that contains uh, value from this list or value of a uh, specific index number of this total mm -hmm. quant list. okay and then we have converted these values and then we have assigned to these local variables okay and then we have uh, calculated a bill uh, with multiplying quant total quantity with price okay and then we have updated it also i mean we have to decrease user entered quantity from total quantity in our uh, quant or sorry total quant okay and then we have converted this value into string once again okay so here you can see we have converted it into a string type okay now we have to print a bill so if we have to print bill then we have to convert it into string type also because q message box contains only string type variables okay so here i have to convert bill variable into a uh, string okay so here i will find type that is q string and now bill underscore str okay now i have to convert it to string to string then uh, scope operator and then type of previous type that is number and then find the name of variable uh, that will be converted okay so uh, this is done now we have converted it once again to string and also we have converted it also into string once again okay now we have to use two message box two message box and now i have to use the scope operator and then i have to define a type that is information and here i have to use this pointer and then here i have to print a bill okay so here i will type customer so here i have to use a comma and then i have to type a string so here i have to type string that's why i have to use pair comma or pair of comma double comma okay now total bill for 
story here i have to print okay total till and now i have to concatenate uh, variable that contains till and the name is till str because i have told you that two message box contains only string type variables okay so here i have to use plus sign to concatenate it with this previous string okay so i have to define uh, the variable that contains bill okay bill plus code as uh, and now i have to use plus sign once again to concatenate it with next string okay so this is total bill for so i have to print here a name of medicine so here i have to use plus sign and then i have to use this that contains uh, uh, name of medicines okay that is uh, sorry is medicines medicines and here i have to define index number okay and then i have to use semicolon the last so here i should uh, here a variable with type pool global so here i will their variable type bool okay bool found and now i will set it false for first time okay and then uh, when we will uh, we will find it successfully then we have to set it true okay found is true so here i will set it true okay this is true now and now we have to break our Uh, for loop this is our for loop now we have to break if we have successfully found the uh, medicine okay so then we have to use break statement okay so this is break statement and uh, after this for loop or after the body of this for loop i have Uh, set another condition after the body of this for loop okay that is not found okay not found then we have to print a error message by using two message box okay this is two message box and i have to use a scope operator and then i have to find the type information okay and then i have to use this pointer and then Uh, here i have to throw a uh, error okay and next i have to print message dot uh, that invalid uh, medicine okay very sad so this message will be printed if uh, we are not able to find any medicine okay now i will save it and sorry i have to put semicolon okay now i will save it and then i will click this run button for execution and after a small while we will able to test our project so this is our user interface uh, you know so if i enter here medicine name medicine uh, paradox okay paradox here i will enter price so this is price for uh, top keepers okay and here or owner here i will enter price 10 rupees okay and here i will enter total quantity so here i will enter total quantity quantity 10 okay and then i will click okay so this is message uh, that medicine added success okay and Uh, now i will add one more item that is screen okay screen and then i will enter 15 price and then i will enter 5 pointed and then i will click okay button medicine okay. added successfully now i will click okay now i want to uh, purchase a item for our customer then here i will uh, 
expect at same i will remove uh, this value now i have to purchase two uh, display tablets okay and then i will click search button here its name should purchase button okay and okay total bill 30 for this print okay because uh, price for one tablet is 50 and for two price or total bill 30 rupees okay now uh, what will happen i want to print remaining quantity okay so here uh, i will print uh, remaining quantity here now i want to show you uh, that uh, our uh, all process is working successfully so here i will concatenate it with next string okay so here i will use pair of comma and i will use here backslash and to go to new line okay here i will type remaining yes uh, remain in quantity okay in quantity and now we will print uh, here quantity by using plus sign to concatenate it with this uh, string okay now i have to define name total quant and then a specific index number okay now i will save it and then i will execute it once again okay now you will able to see remaining uh, items okay so now i will enter here this uh, this okay. and then i will enter one quantity and then i will click search button but invalid medicine because uh, first we have to add a medicine okay this print, i will enter 10 uh, sorry this is price and here i will enter uh, five quantity okay and then i will click ok button now medicine is added successfully now uh, here i can remove price and here i will enter two okay then i will click search button and the name should uh, print uh, sorry uh, purchase button okay here this is search button now total bill is uh, 20 rupees for display display okay and remaining quantity is 3 before uh, total quantity was 5 and after purchasing 2 tablet now total quantity is 3 okay now you can see this is total bill and remaining quantity so this was all about for massive management system i hope this video will be very helpful and easy to understand for you like this video please share with your friends and class fellows and still uh, and if still you have not subscribed our youtube channel then please subscribe our youtube channel right thank you